Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Dominic Toretto's 1970 Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious. Now this video is going to be an update build because I have previously created this car using the OG Imponte Dukes. Today we're going to be using the new Beta Dukes which was released with the Summertime DLC just recently and my original video on this using the OG Dukes was uploaded like four years ago so it's very outdated and I'm ecstatic to be able to bring you the brand new Dukes, the much improved Dukes for this build so without any further ado let's get into it. So as always we are going to start this build with 100% body armor and we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes front bumper. We're going to go with this repaired stock bumper. Then we're going to go to the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. We're going to go with the square dual exhausts. Then for the fenders, we're going to repair them motherfuckers. Then we're going to move on to the grill, we're going to grab this billet grill. Then for the hood, we're going to go for, uh, where is it? It's going to be this bad boy, the triple intake bug catcher. Next we've got the lights, we're going to go and grab the Xeon headlights. We're going to skip past the livery, the louvers and also the mirrors. You'd think, what the hell are you doing? We need to get another wing mirror, but we don't because I've looked at the footage, I've looked at the pictures and Dominic Toretto's 1970s Dodge Charger only has one wing mirror and it is the driver's side wing mirror. So this is awesome. <laughs> we only get one wing mirror as stock, as standard and that's exactly what we need. So we're going to leave the mirror stock because that is awesome. I can't believe when I first looked at this and I saw that Dominic Toretto only had the one wing mirror. And I thought, shit, man, this is awesome. It matches. It's perfect. We don't even have to change it. So, yeah, say so stock for the mirrors. Then we're going to go down to the respray. We're going to go primary color. And we are going to go metallic. And we're just going to go and get metallic black. Then for the secondary color, we're going to go into chrome. And obviously, purchase chrome. Then we're going to go on to the roll cage. Uh, for this one, I think we're going to just go and get the track cage. I think that fits really well for what we need. So yeah, track cage is the one I'm going to go for. Next option we've got is the roof. We obviously want to go and change that to the painted roof. Toretto does not have a spoiler, but the suspension, we are going to go with a competition suspension. Transmission, we obviously want to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, we're going to go into wheel typing into the muscle category. Then we're going to go down and find these Asriel rims. They look the closest to the 70s Charger from Fast and the Furious, as, as far as I'm aware. If there's any better wheels that we can get for this build, let me know in the comments down below because I'd be interested to see what you guys can come up with because I've looked through these countless amounts of times and the ones I always come back to are these Asriel rims because I think they look the best. But like I said, if you've got any other options down in the comments is where to put it. Now for the wheel colour, you do really want to keep these alloy. You can obviously purchase them in chrome as well if you'd like to go down that route. It's a little bit more expensive, but me personally, I don't think you need to get them in, in chrome. But it is an option if you'd like it, because they will look pretty cool. But like I said, it's not essential. I don't think you really need it. And then to finish off the build, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you have it, my dudes. There is my updated build on the 1970 Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious. The very first Fast and the Furious. And this looks awesome compared to the um, other build, which I uh, created using the OG Dukes. This is a step in the right direction, 100%. This is so much different to my other build, which I created four years ago and uploaded about, around about four years ago now, which is crazy. This just looks awesome. Even though a lot of it is very much the same, it looks so much different because the Beta Dukes gives you so much more customization, like with the, um, the exhausts. Oh, I've just noticed something. I have missed to fix the rear bumper. We need to go back and sort that out straight away. And to sort out that rear bumper, we are going to go into the wheelie bar option, funnily enough, and repair the rear bumper. So now we're coming back out of LS Customs for the second time in this video. Yeah, like I was saying, this, um, this updated Dukes is so much better than the OG Dukes. I think it actually performs a little bit nicer as well. It feels a lot smoother, a lot quicker, and the customizations for it are awesome. We get a full roll cage, which we need with these 
really cool bucket seats with the red harnesses and the intake on the front it's got a work and belt the original dukes does not have that so that's you know a step in the right direction the new grills we get are awesome and perfect for what we need and the wheel fitment obviously at the back we get two chunky wheels at the back and it just fits so much nicer it just all comes together a lot nicer i did fall out of love with the dukes over time the og dukes that is because it was just i don't know very lackluster it was very big and bulky and it didn't feel right um but now they brought out this updated version of it it is awesome and i absolutely love it and you can see we've got a working intake there awesome so cool so what I am going to do really quickly, I'm just going to pop up a quick clip of my original video of this build from four years ago. And uh, only like, you know, a five or ten second clip. But you guys be the judge of what you think's best. Now after seeing that little glimpse from four years ago with the OG Dukes. I am overly impressed with what Rockstar's given us. It's taken them four years to get it right, but at least they've got it right. So I am really, really happy with the way this looks. Even down to like just the single wing mirror, man, is awesome. The, the working belt, the working intake flaps is so cool, so good. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. If you guys did enjoy this build, make sure you leave a like down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please remember to smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.